All right, guys, well, we're on the scene of a uh, fire call here in just outside the village of East Hampton, New York. You can see the uh, volunteers have blue lights here in New York State. How's it going? Well, it's a little easier to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you, uh, did you see the video? We all missed it. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I, uh, I'm actually hoping to, hoping to open up a little dialogue with you guys. You know, I just don't want there to be any misconception about what we're trying to do. And people just are, you know, these, 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 days, these days people no, see... A, no, no. I mean, you're not going to be able to see much, even if you got right there because it's in the woods. Right. So, you know, you know it's out. No, and I'll be honest yeah, with you. I actually learned uh, after going to Montauk, I went home, did some research, and according to VDL, there is a yeah. traffic law against... Yeah. Ignoring these guys' orders. These guys have one so. there's a fire in progress, so the scene is actually an active fire scene. They have peace officer powers. Right, exactly. Yeah, and I learned something yesterday, and I'm man enough to admit that right. for yeah, sure. That's good. But this one was a uh, their washing machine went up, and they put it out before. Oh, is that all it was? Yeah. Yeah. It made a lot of smoke, but it didn't. Uh, luckily, they, they came home and uh, saved their house pretty much because I'm sure it would have got going if no one was home. It's a big wood house. Yeah. Cool. No, it's good. We want these things to end good. I don't know if did you, you watch it. Did down. you watch any of the other videos other than Montauk? Uh, yeah, see, you, know, I think, I you watch them all? Yeah. Alright, yeah, because I mean our goal is, I'll be honest with you, the way it works is if everybody's cool, I'm cool, you know, I'm not looking for problems. But sometimes, you know, I, I, I'm not going to ask you for comment because uh, I wouldn't put you in that position. I know you couldn't I'm comment anyway, anyway, of course. Um, but, you know, just people act certain ways and that inspires certain responses. I mean, you're, you say how you are, you're being very respectful, you're being very professional, and I'm treating you the same way, and that's... That's the way it works. A different reaction to what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what it is with cameras, man. People get so free, <laughs> and everywhere we go, you go to the supermarket, CVS, you're on camera. Everywhere you go these days, you guys have body cameras. It's when a camera is brought to you, you don't think about that camera up in the sky, but you think about the one that's right in your face. Well, but you'd be surprised, and I agree with you. You're right, but you'd be surprised how many people don't want to be on camera, and the first thing they do is go put their face right in my camera and approach me. So that's kind of silly logic. You know what I mean? If you don't want to be on camera, just to, just keep walking and go do what you're doing. I guess I could have done that. I could have walked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't ask me to come over here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing. We don't walk up to anybody. I don't approach anybody. I don't get in anybody's face. You know, I got to be honest with you. When I'm at the post office or something like that, and I say, hey, we're just here. We're doing a little story about the post office. Want to see what you think about your postal service and that kind of thing. If people try to walk in and they're, you know, just like any reporter on News 12, Channel 2, Channel 7, you push a little, try to keep asking questions, try to engage them. Sort of reaction. Not even a reaction. Just to get them to maybe do a little quick interview or see what's, you know, not, nothing negative. It's all... Well, you hope it's not. It could, you know, well, yeah, exactly. It's one of two ways, usually, right? It could be all very positive for everybody involved. You know, it's a good thing. And I want you guys to seriously understand I'm not a cop locker. I have nothing against the police. I. It, that's why I asked you if you saw my other videos. All those videos ended very positively. Handshakes, you guys are very professional. And that's, I would love every video to be like that from now on. I'm looking for people that really want to learn how things work and educate themselves and educate my son at the same time educate myself because you know even, even at 50 years old i don't know everything you know never never will but so that's all it is man never will that's true no but you guys you know these have to my, my experience these have the police department's always been very good man hopefully it stays that way you know i know yeah. no we want to stay on the right side of the law for sure man that's and, not know, i'm sure they also went back and looked at their procedures and their policies just to see you know how right, right. maybe they'll set up press areas in the future People are interested in these kind of things. You'd be surprised. I mean, I spent a lot of years making signs. I don't know if you remember. I used to work at Ocean Graphics years ago. I, I had my own sign like business for years. So I actually go out and photograph signs. Okay. So, you know, I, I can go to an airport, and there's some interesting signage and stuff like that. And people think I'm nuts taking pictures of signs. But it's I made signs for 20-some-odd years. Yeah. You know, so it's it's something that's interesting to me. And, yeah. One guy's boredom is another guy's fascination. And there's all these people on YouTube that want to see this kind of stuff. So... I'm out of here in 15 minutes. I bid you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. You guys, all right? This is Officer Jack Bartlemy of the East Hampton Village Police Department. Very professional. We appreciate you, sir. Right, Thank you. Have, Have a good day. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, Officer Bartlemy was kind enough to let us know that it was a dryer that caught on fire and was put out pretty quickly. Lots of smoke, no flames. Uh, so that's a good thing for the homeowners. Um, it's freezing out here, and I'm really not even prepared to be standing here, so I'm kind of glad this was a quick one. Uh, but we're going to get back in the car, put some heat on. I think I have a sweatshirt in there, maybe. And uh, keep driving around and see if we can uh, find the next one for you. So for now, guys, Amagansett Press, out.